You're enjoying the Jack on the Go show. Okay, I'm with Jack Jr. and Tammy. And we have heard mixed reviews about the new ghost pepper bread. Everybody's ghost pepper must be like, because it's Halloween. I don't know. But usually they don't do a good job with ghost pepper. It's very mild, so we'll take a look at it. I'm having him try it because I ain't eating ghost pepper. I can't eat this anyway. So we'll take a taste. We'll let you know. I know if you guys like ghost pepper, they got it. Um, Wendy's has saucy nuggets with ghost pepper sauce. Popeye's chicken has a ghost pepper chicken sandwich. Everybody doing ghost pepper. Kind of mild. Because last thing they want to do is burn, burn somebody's guts. Then they get sued. You don't believe me? Talk to McDonald's about their hot coffee. I gotta say, with these new wraps and these new dippers and some ways are really reaching out. They're doing really good. The sidekicks, the the footlong cookie and the footlong pretzel and the footlong dippers. All that's doing real well. So we're making up the sandwich right now. We'll bring it right over here and we'll look at it up close. Then he's going to try it and let us know how it is. Hey, do you remember we were at the old kitchen in Hendersonville and we tasted that ghost pepper honey? We did what? Remember we tried the honey with ghost pepper in it? Had yeah. the speckles in it? Mm -hmm. We both burned our guts out? Yeah. Yeah. Unlike fast food joints that okay. tone so it down. But what do we got? What did you order? It's ghost pepper. It looks like Italian herbs and cheese with like the seasoning on it. You got a mistake. Yeah, I got a nice. mistake. Nice. Oh, okay. Beautiful. So it looks like they just sprinkle ghost pepper on it, huh? Yeah, pretty much. It looks like it's just like a seasoning. Right. So. Okay, so you give it a rating and let us know how it is. It's pretty good. I'm going to shot bread by itself, too. Is it hot? Or is it appealed to the masses? Is it toned down ghost pepper? Yeah, it's definitely toned down. I think it'll yeah. definitely appeal to the masses. Because like just to give you like a like a spectrum, like Bree and I, we yeah. put jalapenos on our popcorn. Uh-huh. So like spiciness is good with us. And we put like hot sauces on everything. So I think for like the average person this might be a little spicy, but right. none of it's gonna like kill you, so but you're enjoying the flavor? Mm-hmm. Good. So it was a good thing to put it in the bread then, huh? Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm talking to you while you're trying to eat. Mm -hmm. But, uh, so on a scale of uh, one, two, I can't handle it anymore, ten. Like, would you put? Oh, like spice? Yeah, like a four. I put it like a, like a four or like a, even a three. Like, it's, Got it. It's about as spicy as the spicy Chick-fil-A sandwich, if I'm being honest with you. Really? Yeah. That's what it's spicy. Wow. Well, so, maybe maybe I can talk you into trying Popeye's uh, ghost pepper. See if that's no, any I'll better. I've messed with Popeye's. Popeye's like one of my favorite places. Really? Yeah. I freaking love their chicken. Yeah, so I love Popeye's. All right, cool. Okay. Well, let's get it up close really quick. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. You can see the, you can see the reddish seasoning on the outside of the bread. It's like all those extra flakes that the Italian herbs yeah. and cheese doesn't have, so. Very cool. Yeah, I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish the, this half of the sub. And I'm, I'm Take your to time. Go. Take your time, and then, uh, once again, thank you for trying it, because I ain't touching it. Yeah, no, it's chill. I love it. <laughs>